Hey guys, it's Dick the Eagle today, and a lot of people may ask, do I need to be a backpacker in order to backpack the uh, Appalachian Trail? I have had friends ask me, well, would I be able to join you and like keep up with you if I don't normally backpack? And the answer to that will be, well, it will really depend on your physical ability. Uh, and also your, a little bit of your experience. Basically, the short answer is yes, you do need to have some experience in order to be successful at it. But if you don't care about pace, then you can just go at every pace you want to go and get used to it as you do it. You can take a five mile day, take a 10 mile day, uh, or whatever your pace might be in order to gradually get into it. But if you want to keep up with somebody who is used to backpacking, you really won't be able to unless you've had experience previously. So if you want to backpack the Appalachian Trail, I would recommend that you get some experience before you actually try it. And that is like going on a shakedown hike, uh, going on a three to four day trek, trying out your material or your gear and seeing how it works for you. I would not try to do it without some form of backpacking experience. However, if you are just interested and want to try it out, go for it. Go try it out and be okay with it if you have to give up for a minute or let it go for uh, a season if you don't complete the whole thing because you just did a lot more than you have ever done. So you have something to be proud of because you've just challenged yourself. Even though you didn't do as, you might not be doing as good as others or be as fast as others or be as experienced as others. Everyone starts from somewhere. So if you've never backpacked, don't be discouraged. Go out and try it. Go out and try it on the AT if you want to. Just uh, know that you have to have reasonable expectations for yourself. You can set goals high um, and you might reach there eventually. Just don't, uh, don't be super disappointed if you don't if you aren't super good or super used to it or your body doesn't respond in the exact same way you might expect it to initially because you have to work yourself up to that point. So my backpacking experience has uh, been limited in recent years, but I have done a good portion of the Appalachian Trail. Probably about a hundred miles of it to this point. I backpacked the entire Connecticut section when I did backpacking merit badge in Boy Scouts back when I was like 12 or th probably 13 actually. Um, and then since then, I did a few sections of Massachusetts, uh, with Mount Greylock being one of them. And then I backpacked Mount Washington and also Mount Katahdin within about three years of backpacking in the Connecticut portion of the Appalachian Trail. Since then, I have not had much backpacking experience, but I have done day hikes in the past year at various national parks with some difficult terrain, and I've also done sections of the Appalachian Trail in Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York since then. So I definitely had experience. I know kind of what to expect and I'll be trying out a backpacking shakedown in about a month or so. Um, but I did do a two night backpacking trip in Pennsylvania a couple months ago to uh, get the feel back. And uh, I didn't bring a stove, so I wasn't really cooking food yet, but it went well for the most part there. So I have some experience there that I'm going to build on, but it definitely will be new for me going on this extended trip on the Appalachian Trail. Look at this nice lake. I'm hiking around this lake right now. And there's, this is West Rock Ridge State Park, started by the highway. And there's just this beautiful, peaceful lake. What I love 
some of my friends or some of you guys to join, join up with me for a day or a couple days, absolutely. The only thing is I know that once I get a rhythm going, I will want to continue that rhythm. So I want to keep up with a pace that I need to keep up with in order to finish in my time limit, which is June 15th. So I'll need to be averaging about 22 miles per day. And uh, if you want to join or meet up or somewhere, it's awesome. And I welcome that because I love talking with my friends and making time for friends and family as well. So uh, along the trail, I uh, love that. I also am going to keep up with my Instagram account that I just created last week uh, just for short updates and quick updates that might go live sooner than YouTube videos. So uh, that will keep you updated as, as to my location if you'd like to join up with me for a little bit. Even if you don't have experience backpacking, uh, you want to try it out for a little bit, go for it, make it happen. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing and I would always encourage any of you, any of you, to get out into the outdoors and try something you haven't done before. Because all the time, you should get up each day, or at least every week, and challenge yourself in some way that you may not have done before. So create goals for yourself. Embrace the journey. Embrace the journey. In summary, do I think you can backpack if you've never backpacked before? Yes, absolutely. You need to start from somewhere. Just one caveat. Do not expect to go fast and do not expect to keep up with other backpackers who have a lot more experience than you do because they already have their trail legs and experience, they already have everything down. You need to give yourself time to get things down, get used to it, so go slow at first. Try it out. But should you try it? Absolutely try it. Go for it. Just go at your own pace. And if you want to try the Appalachian Trail, go ahead, try it. But if you're planning to through hike it, try a small section of it or a smaller trail before you try to through hike. Because otherwise you might be disappointed if you can't keep up to the pace or uh, if you haven't figured everything out yet or if you forgot something and you go back for it. Try another small section of the AT or another small trail, like a 200 mile section trail before you try the AT. And second, don't try to keep up with other hikers in the trail or wait for other hikers in the trail. You need to go your own pace, hike your own hike, and you'll find friends based on your pace, not necessarily the first people you meet. So remember that, do not get discouraged by not, keep up, not keeping up with someone or pacing yourself ahead of someone. You need to hike your own hike. I've been trail running to this patch of mountain laurel. It's actually really pretty. Find the end of the yellow, finally find the blue, which is gonna take me back to where I parked my car. Nice view over there, kind of the ridge line. You can hear the highway down there somewhere too. Connecticut has this beautiful Blue Blades hiking system, which is the official state trails. So, I think this is a boundary water supply or something, but uh, the state trails are all blue blaze. And so far I've been hiking a lot of these blue trails and I've found that they're really nice trails like along a ridge line like this with great views and also really well marked. So I'm really happy with these blue trails. It's a nice little hut, and there's a road right here, too. Nice bridge line.
wide cut of power lines. Still following along this road up here on this blue trail. And this is unused ridgeline road along this nice ridgeline view over here. The sunset from here would be beautiful with the trees, at least in the winter time. Guys, just came from the blue trail there. Here's a blue trail. I totally recognize this place. I have been here. This is near my friend Will's house. And I just walked down this gravel path when I met him and we came out here to the view. I mean, like, I didn't even try to come out here. How did I end up here? I started out in West Rock Ridge State Park in North Haven and I ended up in Hamden. This like blue and purple trail. Oh yeah, that's the purple trail from what I had seen earlier. So this should bring me to the uh, Three Judges Cave at some point. But wow, I can't believe I recognize that place. It's a beautiful spot here. Hey y'all, still along this bridge line. This has been a fun hike. I've been walking for about two hours from the red to the yellow to the uh, uh, nice, nice climb with that rock uh, to the blue here and uh, walking back along the ridge line. So, as I said, I've been walking about two hours and six and a half miles so far. So, it has been pretty flat the whole way, but. It's a pretty good pace and a pretty good day for a walk. I'm still walking along next to this same unused road as I walk along this beautiful ridge. Longer height than I expected, but it's been beautiful. So I'm thankful for it. Look at this view. This rock right here. Go straight down. Who knows what a random pole is doing there? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's hike and video. I appreciate you following all the way through to the end here. If you guys watch to the end, comment West Rock since I'm at West Rock Ridge State Park and uh, also let me know what you think about uh, backpacking uh, with little or no experience and uh, where you're at with backpacking. I'd love to hear that. Uh, if you guys watched to the end, thank you so much and uh, embrace the journey. Always embrace the journey. That'll probably be the new catchphrase of the end. Embrace the journey that is called life. Embrace the hike. Embrace whatever and wherever you are in this moment. God bless you all and see you next time. Get to cross Baldwin Drive and home stretch. Found the big tower in West Rock and they put a blaze right in the fence here.
found the parkway again, which means we're just about back. I have to share, I'm still walking along this beautiful ridge line. This whole blue trail section has been walking along this ridge line. You all have found the parking area. Found the parking and there's three judges cave. Well, you all, finishing up a beautiful 10 mile hike in about three hours. That's a beautiful pace. It is mostly flat land, but uh, I'll take it. Met a few people along the way. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as we prepare for 2024. Look at that view. Still have a gorgeous view here. And uh, just gonna come to the road and then walk down the rest of the way back to where my car is to complete 10 miles. It's at about 11.30, it's now 2.30 and uh, it's cloudy, but uh, beautiful.